All right, guys, and welcome back to another mod showcase with Leaf. As always, it is so wonderful to have you guys here, especially for this week. We are getting so close to that 1.7 update, even though I felt like it would have came like such a long time ago. But it's all good. That just means whatever buns in the oven, it's cooking up nicely. You know how it goes. All right. So one of the first things I want to show off right here. Again, my boy Kai is doing some crazy stuff, so you may notice that now we're able to actually edit outside the boundaries of this. Um, granted, we can't really place anything out here just yet. That's going to be a development hopefully later in the future if he is able to figure it out. But now we are able to kind of expand this island and stuff, and it's going to be so good. So I just want to show off a little thing. I've been kind of like workshopping, I guess. Actually, nah. Um, I was gonna try and do like water out here, but unfortunately you aren't able to do water all the way out to like the boundary over there So that kind of sucks, but you can still do water like over here And then you see the water is still there, but of course you can just double up on that um, I'm not sure if that actually works out to the best of, of its abilities But you know you can kind of work with it. I don't know you can probably do some yeah, you can do it one layer above, and then it'll still work out pretty good. So that's kind of interesting, you know? Um, so I would love to see people take advantage of that. Granted, again, you can't really place any objects outside of there, but you can still do paths. Um, yeah, here they go. You can place them out here, and you can do the transport rides and fences. So you can pretty much do entire exhibits outside of there. So it's kind of interesting at least. But anyways, with that being said, we are going to jump right into our animals. We have a lot of awesome ones today. Eh, we'll just let that grass be there. But first of all, we are starting off with the North African Ostrich by me! Haha! -ha! So the North African Ostrich is a subspecies of common ostrich, and they're just so beautiful. So you guys may recognize these guys with their iconic bright red necks and stuff like that. They're very, very interesting animals. I don't know, I'm just such a big fan of them. They are part of the Safari Pack, so that's also very amazing. So do go download these as soon as you can. And also, the females are slightly less brown than your normal common ostrich. So, they're a lot more, like, grayish and stuff like that. And the babies, I kind of just left the babies the same. Just because, um, I felt like it. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoy that. But now we are going to take a little trip over to Mexi Mexi well, Mexico. Wow, I can't even talk anymore. With the Oscillated Turkey by Rihanna. Now, this ain't your typical Thanksgiving turkey over here. This is your oscillated turkey. So these guys are beautiful. They are brightly colored. They have these like weird splotching on the neck, but you guys may just recognize them from their beautiful bright coloring. I don't know. I really do love these guys. Look at how majestic he is. It's just so beautiful. But yeah, this is a Central American poultry that I highly recommend you guys check out. I love the baby. Stop. And where's the female? Hold on, I gotta tell the female she's crisp. Is there even a female? I think the... Oh. Do the females actually look the same as the males? That's actually kind of interesting. I thought they would have had, like, more muted colors, but I guess not. Nah. But yeah, she's beautiful, too. I love her. Alright. Now let's keep on moving it down, and we're gonna take a little trip over to Madagascar. Now, you guys... Okay, I swear, these guys are different from each other. But this one is the white belted black and white ruffed lemur. Try saying that 10 times fast. But these guys are so cute. So, of course, being that they're the white belted, they have this little bit of a white belt around their backside. And it does kind of have this, like, kind of slight red coloring to it. You can see it on the baby and you can see it on the adult. But if you guys are interested in getting that hashtag biodiversity in there, you guys should definitely check out the white belted black and white rough lemur. And speaking of Madagascar, we're going to skip the Reeves pheasant for one second because I'm so excited to get into these guys. What about a transition, am I right? So these guys are the Malagasy Horned Crocodile. And these guys are so cool. So apparently, and this is what they're telling me, um, there was a extinct crocodile species that lived in Madagascar. And it had horns on its head. Can you guys believe that? I don't believe that for one second, but these guys are so badass nonetheless. I don't know, I just really do love how well these guys came out. They're done by Brett and Giorno Pizza, of course. Um, always two wonderful creators when they work in the team. 
And these guys are so beautiful. I love their coloration. I don't know why, but their coloration just seems so dingy and dirty, and I love it. Oh my god. And look how happy he is. I love the alligator sounds. Not alligator, but crocodile. I don't know. Very cool. So if you guys are interested in paleo parks, that is definitely the way to go. Now, the Reeves Pheasant by Rihanna. I haven't even seen this one yet. I plopped it in, and oh my god. He is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that beautiful train on him, too. Guys, I love pheasants so much, and these guys are just so wonderful. It makes me so happy that Rihanna has, like, found her little bit of a niche, because she kills it with them every single time. Look at the baby. Look at this stupid little baby. I love it. I love its big, bright eyes. And where's the mama? Uh, I think I saw mama back here. Did I? No. Here's the mama. But yeah, she is beautiful as well. Oh my god, look at that coloration. I don't know. I'm just a really big fan of this, Rihanna. Amazing job. Alright, so. Um, I forgot to actually get the rays underwater. So if you guys actually give me one second, I'm going to find my big old plaster pieces. And we can do this on the fly. Because that's how I work best. So, how have you guys been? Alright, we're going to take this time to chat with you all. How have you guys been? How has 2021 treated you guys so far? How has it been treating you for Planet Zoo, okay? Let's let's get into the real stuff here. I personally love how well this year has been for Planet Zoo. And it just makes me even more optimistic about the future. I don't know. I just see all the stuff that they're putting in the game, and it's just so amazing to see, like, you know, Frontier giving this level of dedication to us. And I know I kind of complain, oh, we haven't had new DLC in so long. But, like, you know what? I'm happy with what we have so far because we have such, like, a nice modding community that it all just, like, I don't know, it all evens out. And I'm just really proud of, like, both the mod makers and the mod downloaders alike because I know mods are still kind of stigmatized, but still, I know that you guys all love them just the same. We're just going to move the manta ray over here. And we're going to move the other one over there as well. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the recent additions that have been coming through with mods and stuff like that. And it's just really nice to see. Now, while we wait for all the other friends to get in the water, we're going to start off with, what are you? I believe this is a short fin Mako shark. Yeah, so these guys are freaking beautiful. Look how well they move. Like, this one is done by both Buff Zoo and Journal Pizza. And look how well he moves oh my god i love how well they swim now like this just makes me so happy to see that Jorno and buffsu are taking on like you know the aquatic legacy that i can start in <laughs> but they are doing it so well so i believe that this model is ported from man eater which is that big old shark kills killing spree game i don't know it seems really fun but these guys are beautiful so if you guys are interested in getting some more shark species definitely do check that out and speaking of shark species i have one in particular that i want to check out right now and here he is treading on the surface of the water it is the great hammerhead shark now you guys may remember this one i believe from before it got a rework, it got a recode. This is an entirely new mod. <laughs> um, but yeah, these guys are beautiful. So they are made by the same people aforementioned, both Jorno and Buffsu. And I love these guys so much. Again, from Maneater, I believe. And their skin looks so good. I love how well it looks. I don't know, there's something about it that fits so well within the Planet Zoo style. It just looks so freaking spectacular. I don't know, I'm just such a big fan of it. And look at what's passing us by right now. Oh, this is an old friend indeed. So this is the Arapaima. Now the Arapaima, it's already been out, but Buffzu took it upon himself to rework it with the Endless Ocean model, and it looks so good now. He even did like all the rigging for it perfectly, so it moves just like it should. Maybe with a little bit less of the one to side to side. Wow, I can't even talk anymore. But besides that, it still is pretty spectacular, and I love him so much. Now moving on from that, we have the Wells Catfish. Now this guy is... Probably one of our first European fish, I guess. Um, so these guys are pretty swank and cool. I love these guys. Look at the texture on him. I love how well he looks. He fits in so well with the Planet Zoo art style. 
and I love the mouth on him. He just seems like such a happy guy. He seems like, you know, one of the fish you'd go for for advice, you know? I don't know what I'm saying, but I really do love how he looks and how well he moves. I love how, like, the wiggles kind of work on him. Now, moving on, I believe that's it for the fish. I c uh, yeah. So let's move into our Rayfin fish with the giant oceanic manta ray now i do apologize i could not get the flaps to work on this guy so he kind of just moves kind of stagnantly but i guess that's okay for now but yeah these guys are freaking beautiful so the giant oceanic manta ray is the largest yeah it is the largest species of manta ray so if you guys are interested in getting a tank full of these guys definitely do go check it out because they are pretty spectacular now, moving on from there, I believe we are actually getting into our kind of like uh, bottom feeders, I guess. I don't really know. But here we go with the blue spotted ribbon tail ray by Leaf. Oh my god. So these guys are oceanic manta, not oceanic. They are oceanic. But uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to say right here. They are saltwater. There you go despite their quite colorful appearance so if you guys are interested in getting like a saltwater tank definitely do check these guys out i'm not really sure as to why they're not really moving right now and as to why they're kind of like favoring the land over here i'll look into that certainly i believe it's more of a coating issue the pygmy hippo is a little bit of a difficult species to work with especially if you want it to like stay on the ground for longer but of course we also have the white blotched river stingray and these guys are a freshwater species too so if you're trying to have like a nice big amazonian tank these guys are perfect they're from the zingu river and they're really cool that's pretty much all i know about them there really isn't much studies on them uh, both of these were ported from Endless Ocean, and I also have a Cowtail Stingray along the way. So hopefully I can get that one out this week. But I believe that is it for all of our fish. Um, I believe that's it. Yes, so amazing job to all of our fish modders. You guys are really, really keeping the spirit alive. I love it. Now we're going to take a little trip over to Africa with the African Forest Buffalo by Seth. So this guy is beautiful. Seth, you have mastered photogrammetry so far. It looks absolutely spectacular. The only complaints I do have is that the African Forest Buffalo actually does have quite unique horns. And I believe if you want this one to really stand out, also, whatever's happening over there. <laughs> but they do have horns that kind of curve back like that, and they don't really curve up. And also, of course, there's the issues with the neck and with the snout itself but besides that it's a pretty damn good mod so good job to you Seth on that I'm happy to see you working on your skills buddy now we are going to take a little trip over here to a little bit of a throwback so this is the original unicorn by pure winter originally imported by me and I kind of gave it a little bit of a redo so unfortunately we still do have that like weird model issue uh, not really sure what's happening there, but I will look into that pretty soon. Maybe for 1.7 I will. But I remastered these guys, and I kind of did something a little out of the ordinary. I kind of based these guys off of their Zoo Tycoon 1 uh, colorings and markings. So I really do love how well this one came out. I think they look so much better now. And they just have so much more personality. Just excuse me, I'm opening up the Zoopedia right now. But yeah, I just love these things so much. I don't know. I just really love how well like the male colors work. It's like this beautiful shiny blue. It looks so nice. And then the babies, of course, it has the zebra stripings. But they look so good nonetheless. And of course, the baby has a horn now. I know that was like one of the biggest points of contention before. But I gave it a little bit of a horn. So of course, we have that all going. So if you guys are interested in getting unicorns for your zoo, they are so much better now. So definitely do go check them out. And now, Dr. Hyena. I finally got to it. I finally got to installing your uh, Spotted Hyena Remaster. And these guys are adorable. Look at them. They are fluffy. Look at their big ol' ears. I don't know. I just really do love these guys. He did such a good well, such a good job on them. He also included two variants, so maybe, maybe I'm not sure, but I might be able to show off the next one next week. 
so this one is the Nogoro. I forget how you actually pronounce it, but these guys are really cool. So they're a lot more splotchy, and I just really do love that. They seem so much cooler like that. I don't know, and of course in the sun they're beautiful. They have this beautiful copper kind of color. I love them. They're spectacular little creatures. It's always the hyena people. I don't know, they always do such a bang up job with all their mods. And of course, we're going to end today off with the Bicycle Seal by Didums. This one is by a new up and coming modder on the scene. So Didums has been hard at work recently doing a million different seals and the Bicycle Seal is no exception. So these guys do have these like really big eyes. Like I'm actually surprised to see that they actually look like this in real life. But yeah, they're just these silly little looking guys and they are some of the only freshwater seals they're the completely only freshwater seal um but yeah i just really do love these guys they're so cute i love their big old eyes and of course here's the baby looking cute as always i don't know frontier did such a good job for the base of seals i just wish we would get even more or even sea lions oh my god wouldn't that be so good but anyways, guys, that will do it for this week. It's been quite a bit of a fun week, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed it this time around. If you guys are new here, if this is your first showcase, do consider subscribing. It really does help me out, and we're so close to 4,000 subscribers. That's going to be such a fun, fun time when we actually hit that goal. But anyways, guys, let me know your favorite mod from this week in the comments. I don't even know. I, You know what? I'm an oscillated turkey guy all the way. These guys are so beautiful and we'll actually end it on their cute little pecking noises. But anyways guys, Leaf has gotta go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys next week where we get to see some even more awesome mods. So take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye now.